again. John Petrochnik, I welcome you to my studio. Today I'd like to show you how to do a monochromatic block in uh, prior to adding color to your paintings. I've just learned from experience it's a very useful, valuable way to create a strong painting. As you can see from my picture here, this is what I'll be working on. I will demonstrate here for a little bit to show you how I apply the color. I am using this uh, tube of color right here, which is Utrecht's Raw Umber. And I use this straight with no uh, white at all. I just scrub it in. I'll show you how I do it, but I keep it transparent, pretty much transparent. And what happens is uh, when this dries, the purpose of doing this monochromatic like this is that I establish the values at this point. I do not have to be concerned with color. This, these values establish the mood, but not the color. So if I get the value structure right and feel good about it at this stage, then the color is going to work fine as long as I match these values and maintain this value structure. So let me show you how I go about uh, creating and building up these values. So I've drawn this off. I used, you can see I've gridded my photograph. The photograph is much bigger, but I've, I've selected the part of that photo that I like. So I'm gonna go ahead and start uh, blocking in, laying in some tone here. How I do it. And you'll see my greatest friend on this technique is the paper towel. Because I can rub down to that point to get the value I want. And this is a this is a ground plane, so that ground plane does not need to be as dark as the vertical planes of the trees, because that will really uh, make a make it confusing. So this is how I build my values. You can see I'm using that's a very dry dry brush technique, minimal mineral spirits, because if you put many, much mineral spirits into your um, paint there, what's going to happen is uh, you will be lifting off what you've already put down. So you do have to, it's a, it's a technique you kind of got to experiment with and take some time with. If I, if I dip my brush in the mineral spirits just a little bit, just get a little wet, I can lift out, I can wet an area and start to reduce that tone that I use my, see what I can do? You can rub it back down. That's too light for that area, but I wanted to show you how this technique works. This, by the way, is a mound that's rolling over, kind of comes down, comes back up and rolls over to this direction. So as it rolls away from the light, I'm thinking that part needs to be slightly darker. So we'll just build that up like that. Let that set here for a minute or two. I'm going to start working over here. So I'm moving away from the light. So as I'm coming over this direction, I don't want to compete with that value there. So I need to darken all this. This is all ground plane. I will rub this out with a paper towel. It should work out, hopefully. If you get this stage right, where you feel, yes, the design's really good, the value structure's just what I want, it has created the mood that I'm after, then your the final painting is gonna go so much easier for you because you've already done the really the hardest work. The foundation of the painting is the drawing and the composition and this value structure. That's really what makes your painting stand up and hold together. What I'd like to do, I think uh, this has been a very brief demo but I just want to show you that there's value in using this technique. And what, what will happen is I will build up this painting all the way until it really feels natural and I'm feeling like I've got the effect I want, the mood I want, and everything. And it takes time. The thing is, at this point, is, is this is the time that all this stuff can be fixed. If there's an error, you're not happy with something, Now's the time to fix it. Not when you're halfway into your full color painting and you realize, oh, that doesn't look very good. I got a problem here. Then there's so much, much harder to go back and fix. So if you get all the, all the major issues solved at this stage, before you even deal with color, 
you got a much better chance for a successful painting. So this is something I've been using in all my paintings for years, and it, and it really made the difference between uh, uh, an average painting and, and uh, allowing me to create something that had, was of more significance. So let me stop there and just uh, I thank you for joining me on this uh, video. I, I know it, I didn't get to show you a lot, but hopefully it was enough information to, to show you the value of uh, creating a monochromatic painting. So thanks for joining me. Hope it was helpful.